Scenarian history. I wouldn't call what you do maintaining. Excuse me, Enid. Do you have a problem? Yes. The scrolls and Poseidus are not on the shelves where they belong. They were being used. By whom? By me. I was researching King Ogthar. Well, your thirst for research is commendable, my friend. But your skills as a librarian are positively prehistoric. Well, I will see to it that they are put properly away. All I ask is to keep the system organized. If I see one more stray parchment, I'll tear my hair Enid, out. You don't have any hair. Lucky for me. May I continue with our friend here? I was about to tell a story. Really? Well, I hope you have nothing to do for a moon or two. Don't listen to him. He always does this to me. I thought our guest would like to hear the story of Nathan and Constance. Ah, oh, Nathan and Constance. Yes, that's a good one. Then go about your business. Don't let me interrupt. Now, let's see. Well, it all began a few years ago. Nathan Drake was 17 years old. He and his twin sister, Constance, lost their parents in a tragic expedition to the Australian outback. They now sailed for America to start a new life with relatives in Boston. The voyage was miserable. Constance and Nathan were trapped on deck when the storm rose from nowhere. Rain struck the ship like a Wind tore her sails and thunder pounded fear into the hardened crew. Nathan fought as the sea reached up to steal his sister. In a terrible tug of war, he held tight to her hand until a wave tore them apart and Constance was gone. Shouting into the wind, Nathan grabbed a scrap of wood and dove overboard. He swam and swam. Constance was sometimes only a few yards away, but she never glimpsed him, never even knew her brother was swimming after her. Nathan swam until his muscles surrendered. And as everything went black, he thought he heard angels laughing. What he heard was the chuckle of dolphins bucking him up onto an unknown beach.
I have a gift for you, dear. It's a primer, a book that the wee ones here used to learn the footprint alphabet of Dinotopia. Now, it may be a bit childish for you, young man, but it is a good way to study the ABCs. So, you think you know enough words to start you off, do you? Oh, good. Look at where you are. The archery here is just that. In it, you'll find the nesting room and then the incubation room and the sleeping and guest quarters. You know, we can always use an extra hand to help with the hatching of the eggs. Why doesn't anybody understand me? They're always telling me what to do. They don't listen to anything I say. I'm leaving home and I'm never coming back. Hello? Would you like to play? No? Okay. See ya. Listen, I need help. You can hear I need help, yes? The little ones are driving me mad. Ay, 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 que locura. Please make funny faces for them. Over there on the wall, you'll see puppets and toys. Each little one has their favorite, but some of the puppets scare them, so try them all. One of them will work, I hope. I made this windmill myself, and like me, it's weathered many a storm. But after so many storms, makes you wish for a change in the weather. <sighs> ah, now that your ears be fluent hearing our word, you can understand that we're needing a little help. It's the incubation I'm worried about, and some of the eggs are cracked, and the windmill is damaged from the storm, and... Oh, don't you stand there. Lend me a hand. I say it is. Well, now, you know, there's no way off this island. It's the winds and the tides keep pushing you back. No one's ever left. Sorry to be telling you that. But I'll put the sail here to good use. There's something that may be worth trading on down the road. Well, it's less a matter of finding her than finding yourself, don't you think? Or put it another way, more a matter of finding yourself when you're looking for her. Here on Dinotopia, most of the dinosaurs lay but two or three eggs in life. This is a fact, for there be no real predators on this island. 
to keep their numbers stable, they practice egg control. <laughs> it's true. I'm sorry, can't talk. I'm the egg nurse and I'm late for my work. No, I don't know. I don't get around much. I stay here and work with the eggs. When they hatch, it's the best day of my life. Of course, they hatch every day, so things are pretty good for me. I had a dream I was shipwrecked on an island where dinosaurs lived. The dinosaurs were intelligent and lived in wonderful cities with humans who were descendants of other shipwrecked travelers. I was walking through a wetland and came upon a boy who told me he had a dream in which he was shipwrecked on an island where dinosaurs lived and they were intelligent. No, I'm serious. And that's what he asked me. And I said, and that's what he asked me. They call me the Nanino, or in your language, a nanny. I watch over the hatchlings. That's what we call dinosaur children, hatchlings. And let me tell you, once they are out of the egg, they are so inquisitive, they get into everything you can imagine. I'd love to say I've seen it all, but they still surprise me, the little imps. Your name? Can I tell you the code of Dinotopia? Survival of all or not. One raindrop raises the sea. Weapons are enemies, even to their owners. I can't help you with that, but I can tell you the rest of the code. Sing every day. Exercise imagination. Eat to live. Don't live to eat. Don't pee in the bath. <laughs> I can't help you with that, but I can tell you the rest of the code. Sing every day. Exercise imagination. Eat to live. Don't live to eat. Don't pee in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't help with that. <laughs> I realize that where you come from, laying an egg is no big event, but that's because you've never laid an egg, am I right? I mean, if you were the one that laid the egg, you would... Well, all right, it's true, I've never laid an egg either, but... Oh, I'm too nervous to explain. I don't know. Sorry. Where was I? Where am I? Where is this? Am I still here? Is there a mirror? Pinch me and see if I'm real. Oh, second thought, please don't. Did you see my new niece? She was just hatched yesterday. What a precious little thing. I can't really talk about that now. My niece is the first one to the family in a long time. Egg problems, you know.
the greatest of pleasure to meet you. I'm Kerfoot. How's it going? I'm Zuka. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Kerfoot and Zuka at your service. Zuka and Kerfoot at your service. Kerfoot and Zuka. Zuka and Kerfoot. Kerfoot and Zuka. Mm, you have sister. She much better than have brother. She much, much better. She much, much, much better. She much, 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 much better. Game over. Not playing. I think I hear of new girl in Pumice Town. Maybe go Pumice Town, not good idea. Zuka worry if Brock your son and Bruno see him rearrange big nose. <laughs> I teach him tip play cards. It's not my fault Ono take him for everything he got. Okay, we take back road. work here and you'll be like me, a big asset to the community. Did you just sneak a boy? What do I know about that? I'm just passing through your life. After this, I don't exist. And what makes you think you're any different? Look, will you quit stopping me? Can't a woman walk down the street alone without being bothered? I don't want to go anywhere with you. I don't want to talk about the people you know. I just want you to leave me alone. Hello there, my friend. My name is Arno. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Interested in a stimulating game of chance? You might win yourself a pretty trinket. Look at this nice prize I separated from a nasty little man named Lee Crab. Super! I am so excited. It's the first time I've played a dolphin back. The game is called Treble, and it is exceedingly simple. Each player gets three cards. Each card has three things. A number, a color, and a symbol. The cards must match in two ways, like all the same color and all the same symbol, or all the same number and all the same color, or another combination. See? You play by picking up a card and then discarding one. You can pick up a card either from the top of the deck or from the discard pile. Keep in mind, I can pick up your discard. Come on, let's start. It's your go. This 
This is a terrible hand. Go ahead. It's your turn. Congratulations, my friend. You are even smarter than you seem. How about another hand? Your turn. Make a choice. This is a terrible hand. It's your play now. Close one, but the cards just. This is a terrible hand. It's your play now. It's your go. Close one, but the cards just seem to go my way. This is a terrible hand. It's your play now. Looks like I'm holding the card you need. Look out! Now I have two ways to win, not just one. Close one, but the... This is a terrible hand. Again you seem to have a lucky star. Please, give me a chance to try to win back what I've lost. Isn't this part of town great? I'm gonna rent me a loft nearby, put together a musical group, see, and someday I'm gonna play a concert in Waterfall City. I can't help you there. But if you're in Waterfall City in a couple of years and you see a band called the Seropods, that'll be me.
Bona tak zagla. No. Bin shagong zakna. You don't understand Dinotopian slang. You walk this land for the first time. I have lived here all of my life. I am called the master of metals. I am Toktimbu, foremothers African, descended from a Yoruba king. My father's father built the foundry in Volcanium. Wakanadong Zokpa. Welcome to Dinotopia. Yes, three, maybe four days ago, I saw a young woman with Lee Crab. I thought it strange. I should have known she was new to this island. <coughs> oh, did I cough in you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't talk. Lee Crab's the name, my good friend. I'm a slag man in this infertile pit they call Dinotopia. I spend all my days slaving away for the scalies, the dinosaurs. They got me scavenging all kinds of junk metal. You be careful, my good friend, or they'll put you to work too. Sooner or later, the scalies put everyone to work for them. Sorry, my little skinny, but I ain't seen who you're looking for. You know, there's a few of us humans, dolphin backs the dinos call us, that wash up on the beach every year. If they don't make it to this island, <laughs> then well, that's all the better for them. Wait, don't tell me about your life sorrows. All you dolphin backs do is come in here and yap about how great things were back where you came from and how you gotta get back there. And you yap about what happened to your sisters. Who cares? Wait, don't answer that. I don't want to hear it. Sorry, can't stop, mate. Got my first vacation in two summers and have to reach the skybox before it flies. Must hurry. My apologies, mate.
I can't help you there. But if you're in Waterfall City in a couple of years, and you see a band called the Seropods, that'll be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Kerfoot. We start there. How's it going? I'm Zoo.
Kala Waterfalls. Not be alarmed. It is a Dinotopian custom for newcomers in Waterfall City to be greeted by diplomats such as myself. I am Atric. I am brilliant. And until you've adjusted to your new life here, you will be lucky to have me as your guide. Oh, I see. You have a lost sister. Hmm. Nathan, uh, poor boy, let me help you. The adjustment to life in Dinotopia is not easy. Uh, there is much you left behind. My advice is, the earlier you let the past go, the better off you will be. Perhaps it is best you forget about finding your sister, uh, for now. I suggest we go see Nalab in the Hall of Knowledge. I have either been unable to communicate my feelings to you, or when you washed ashore, you hit your head on a rock. Uh, what I am trying to tell you is the last time I tried to be a nice guy, it got me nowhere. I was nearly eaten by a Tyrannosaur in the savannah. Oh, I was gone so long, my mate flew off with some low-class degenerate fowl from Pumice Town. <sighs> oh, please, let's not talk anymore. It's bringing back bad memories. Let's just go. Well, hello, my young friend. I'm Nalan, 
assistant curator of the Hall of Knowledge. I'm keeper of the arts, both new and ancient. Though my boss Enid might take exception with that, he finds me somewhat disorganized. Well, come in, come in, close the door behind you. Oh, how they expect me to take care of ancient scrolls in a city covered in mist, I don't know. Oh, yes, Constance. A bright girl, and a little stubborn, though. Let me think. You know, it must have been about three days ago when she signed the guest registry. She was anxious to return to her brother. Well, anything that makes music is a thing of great joy. That is, as long as the music is harmonious. Some of the music the young dinosaurs are listening to, well, the less said, the better. Stunning, simply stunning. Sunstones are the most mysterious substances ever mused about here on Dinotopia. Some believe they are a lost technology from ancient times and that a mere handful could power an entire city. Is it true? No one knows. my absolute favorite. This human dinosaur pair is performing what we call a pose dance. It is actually a vocabulary of gestures created before dinosaurs and humans could speak to each other. It is still a great honor to be asked to pose dance by a dinosaur. Oh, a wonderful event, a wonderful event. I'm glad you chose this one. Each year in Cornucopia, the young people take part in the Dinosaur Olympics. And the crowning contest of the competition is the ring riding event. This remarkable device, young man, is an enigma. As far as I know, and I know most of what occurred here... Well, thank you for your assistance, Nelson. Oh, I'm sorry, Nathan. As a token of my gratitude, I would like you to have this. It requires only a speaker, a metal gear, and, and of course, a recording. You should be able to find everything you need in Waterfall City, except for the gear. Uh, I always rely on Tok Timbu of Pumice Town for my metal work. to study pose dancing. I know that sounds like something sissies would do, but it's not. You have to practice for years to be good. Pose dancing is a language. Did you know that? 
It's a language of movements and gestures performed by a human and a dinosaur. Their movements are synchronized. You see? It's kind of hard to explain. I don't know. Pose dancing is very beautiful. My favorite pose dances are the funny ones like Who sat on my hat? Or What did we step in this time? I don't know. Pose dancing is very beautiful. My favorite pose dances are the funny ones like Who sat on my hat? Or What did we step in this time? Do you wish to know which way to go? To the east there is a feast. Over there is a fair. To the right is a sight. And of course there's west. They say it's the best. Wait, I have one more thing to say before I'm through. Nothing I've told you is at all true. Alas, I have no response to your question. Ask me again and I'll make a suggestion. Hello, did you ask for a plumber? I work on all kinds of pipes. That's not important right now. The important thing is the flow. We must always be flowing or we are stopped. If we are stopped, we back up. If we back up, we hit something. If we hit something, we create a terrible mess. If we create a terrible mess, we clean it up. That's my job, no big deal. Oh. <sighs> 
Pom, 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 pom. Oh, yeah. Code of Dinotopia? Survival of all or none. One raindrop raises the sea. Weapons are enemies, even to their owners. I help you? What do you need? Flowers? Tell me, is it a wedding? A sickness? Oh no, not a death. I am so sorry. No? Oh good. Herbs then. Is it your throat? Your stomach? Your ear? Your rear? <laughs> Was she younger? Maybe 17. Dark hair. Very intelligent. Talking only of living Dinotopia. No, never saw her.
is most pleasant. Those are nice fingers you have there. Use the tongues to put those molds in the water bath. Gramophone. You know, what gramophone that give you right to drag us all over Danatopia? Perfect for taking advantage of. Zuka start feel that way too. Really? Zuka agree with her about? Yes! This incredible day! I feel happy. I feel gay. Zuka, come. Let's skip to the temple ruin, shall we? La, 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 la. This is one. Oh, watch out for my tooth. Oh, sorry. Touch again.
Ultron, son of Greyback the Wise. I serve as senior counselor at the Round Table of Dinotopia. I reside in these ancient ruins. Several days ago, your sister, Constance, arrived and insisted that I help her find her way off the island. I refused, but later I heard the voice of Snapfire, my nephew, telling your sister stories about the world beneath, of traveling machines and magical devices that ignited their fantasies. The world beneath is all that remains of a civilization ancient beyond memory and advanced beyond comprehension. I am very fond of Brokaw, Nathan, but he only gave you the crest of the Greyback to get you to save his nephew. And maybe he should consider getting off his rump and save the boy himself. I'm sorry, but I tell you one thing, all this lotus petal meditating isn't going to help us one bit.
What are you gaping at, boy? What's the matter? You didn't expect to see a woman training the Skybacks Flyers? Oh, I see. I understand now why you'd be in a hurry. Look, don't worry. She'll be all right. Women like us can be very resourceful. Trust me, I know. Sure thing to do. I thought you were different. Skybacks feel special bond with Ryder. Thundra, feel that for Nathan. Thundra, see good spot. Drop. Nathan! Must hurry! Ah! Who's that this? Ah, smelly dolphin bark, eh? I know like you, newcomer. You wash up on the island, and all you want is consume our precious natural resources, eh? Oh, you not like that, eh? Okay, you fix this lodge valve. You on the keep.
Did you meet Melanie? Melanie is really pretty. She knows everything there is to know about herbs. I think they talked to her. Hello, these are my friends, Rosemary and Sage. But my name is Time. I taste and I smell the best of all. And if you pick me and pinch me, you'll have time on your hands. <laughs> I don't know. Does it take time? or we're dead if they don't bridge the gap between the incoming and outgoing gas pipes they can't turn the sludge fumes into flammable gas be gentle with them don't upset them you have to be exact or we're dead if they don't bridge the gap between the incoming and outgoing gas pipes they can't turn the sludge fumes into flammable gas
Ezra, see? Someday, Thundra land right through trees. Want to try? No? Why not? Tree Town is a wonderful place to live. When I visit anywhere else on the island, everyone will say, Oh, you live in Tree Town. That's wonderful. And so it is. <laughs> Do you see the plant Arctium longevus? They say the tea you make from it changes the body's chemistry to reverse the aging process. A human can approach or even exceed the long lifespan of the dinosaur. Oh, I've seen a lot. Well, not much the last ten years. The vision's a bit blurry now. I can't say I've seen what you're asking about, though. Drink the tea, young man. Drink the tea. Hello? Would you like to play? No? Okay. See ya. I am the habitat partner of Fiddlehead. We are responsible for health of woodlands and jungles. I built a huge treehouse once. I wouldn't let my sister or her friends come in because they put mango mash in my nest. I can't 
talk. You didn't see my voice anywhere, did you? It keeps coming and going like a bad rash. And speaking of a rash, oh, did you want to say something? I haven't seen her myself, but it's difficult to miss hearing about her. I don't know, Nathan, a girl her age in these wild, unknown places. Or I can only imagine what strange and bizarre ailment she might pick up. if I'm allergic to this prism. Ever since I've been carrying it around, I can't stop getting sick. I, I, it's pretty, but you keep it. The pleasure was not mine, Magnusha. I'm afraid I'm once again the victim of my own good nature. If it was up to you and this dolphin back here, I'd be do-gooding myself into a three-foot hole in the ground.
Salutations, weary traveler. In this life, I am called Levka Gambo, and you have arrived at what is called the Temple of the Sky. It is said that you and your sister, though separated by physical space, are unable to communicate. She is under the mistaken belief that you are still aboard your ships. She thinks only of returning to you. These thoughts bring her great pain and cause her to act rashly. I have not visited the world you speak of, but I have seen it. The legends, they are mostly true. Come, listen. It is the chant of Dinosaur Sus. Can you hear it? Ten million years of wisdom in these sounds. I'm not surprised you are unable. You are clearly of the world you left behind. I'm afraid the mammalian mind that leads you has clouded over the older reptilian part of your brain. With it, 
some of the glory of the world gets lost. Up here, without any human will, the thoughts we have allowed to control us become as thin as the air and disappear. This is the true wonder of the temple in the sky. It allows our thoughts escape from us. Salutations, weary traveler. In this life, I am called Lefka Gambo, and you. Whether you'd stop me to say hello? I'm a performer. What am I doing performing out here in nowhere? Well, obviously I'm performing for you. Inside yuck, handle pump get.
Uh, uh, who, who is it? You trying to scare an old blind dinosaur to death? What do you think you're doing? Sneaking up on me? Nestar's the name, and I may be blind, but I'm not deaf. My other senses are as keen as the guana bird. My name is Nestar, I say. I come to this oasis to soak and drink from the waters. <laughs> Usually, I like to drink first. You, you may have the honor of escorting me home. are you waiting for? Pick me up. I'm not that heavy. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Let's go. This long, this wide, and that's it. Goodbye. <laughs> Rap again? Aren't your knuckles wearing thin? <laughs> I'll give you some knuckles! <coughs>
at last, eh? And where have we been? Trekking abstractions in the desert sands, have we? And where is our hat? Another hat devoured by the desert? So, at last, eh? And where have we been? Trekking abstractions in the desert sand. That's it! We found it! It's the entrance! <laughs> Wait a second. Now that we found it, do we have to go down there? I know we've gone this far, but I'm the one who has read all the stories about the world beneath. I'm the one who has suffered sleepless nights wondering if the stories were true. And I am the one who is scared out of his mind and begging you to listen to me for once. Let's forget this folly and go home.
did it. You are amazing. You are incredible. Nathan, you are, you are, uh, you're, you're not bad for a dolphin back. I can't believe it. I was afraid you were dead. Oh, Nathan. Oh, Nathan. You won't believe the adventures I've had. So much of it was wonderful. But there was also times that I didn't think I'd survive. It's good to see you alive, Nathan. I know it's strange for a male Triceratops to cry, <laughs> but seeing you two reunited touches me. I went from person to person, and, and of course dinosaur to dinosaur, attempting to learn anything I could. And then I met Snapfire, who turned out to be the most loyal friend one could ever have. He immediately felt the pain I was in and offered to help. I'm sure everyone is saying we were foolish to venture here. Hmm. What we've discovered has made it all worth it. Now all of Dinotopia will know the mysteries of our past. His uncle didn't approve of our going into the forbidden areas. He and Snapfire argued, and I'm afraid to say that Snapfire may have lost any chance of receiving his family crest. The crest of the Greyback. He risked everything for me. Whoa, Nathan! Those are the crests of Greyback. You got them from my uncle, didn't you? I, I can't believe he sacrificed them for me. I rushed down into these caverns to find a way out. Ironically, I found a way in. A way inside myself. I've never known a feeling like this, Nathan. For the first time, I realize what's important to me. I want to stay in Dinotopia. Uh, perhaps I was foolish, wanting to be the first dinosaur to explore the worlds beyond Dinotopia. There's so much out there, I know it. But without having gone, I wouldn't know how much is in here as well. For the first time, I feel tied to my ancestors. Let's hurry to see my uncle. I have a lot to teach him. Ever since our parents died, we've been trying to find our place in this world. I think we found it, Nathan. I really do. I hope you feel the same way. The choice is yours. Nathan and Constance left our island. In a few days, the sunstone was exhausted and the sub sank. After a harsh week on a makeshift raft, they were rescued by an Australian vessel. Nathan and Constance had discovered how difficult it is to leave Dinotopia. Soon, they would learn it is far more difficult to return. From the depths of my heart, I would like to say thank you, my young friends. You have performed in a manner befitting a citizen of Dinotopia. I'm glad you decided to stay, Nathan. Breathe deep, brother, and seek peace. And Snapfire, I am proud of you. You have proven yourself worthy of the crests of Greyback. Thank you, Uncle. I know you've gone through a great deal to become who you are. And you have the trophy to show for it. 
It's my turn now to be the adventurer in the family. I only hope someday I'll be as wise as you. Oh, and a little longer in the horn area. Let it be known from this time forward, Nathan and Constance shall be considered members of the family of Dinotopia. Welcome home. Breathe deep. Seek peace. Nathan, thanks to you, my standing in the community is restored. My girlfriend has left that foul degenerate from Thomas Town. She's back. <laughs> Not bad, eh? So what do you say we call that squeaky skybox of yours down here and go power up the sub again? I think there are a few more adventures left in these wings of mine. <laughs> How about it, eh, pal? Oh, and by the way, if we're going to share living quarters together, that Dimorphinin has got to go. 